drop it. Hi. I'm Victoria Rose. Before I go and get locked up, I want to show you guys what kind of supplements I take. I have all my supplements up here. And I'm just going to show you a few of them. I'm going to be weird and carry my vitamins in my pocket. Not for a particular reason. I mean, I just need to eat something before I take them. Otherwise, I'm going to feel nauseous. And uh, I don't know. I feel like I want to have some vitamins in me for the day. And the day's dwindling. It's a dwindling day. You guys are wondering, why are you taking vitamins if you're just going to jail? I want to make sure that I have nutrients in me before I, you know, I go. Allow me to show you a couple of my vitamins. So I take DHA. It's good for the brain. I don't remember what else. Um, and then vitamin E. I always take this and aloe vera or right now I'm just taking this because I ran out of aloe vera. But I like this because it's good for the skin. It's good for your whole system and your immunity and antioxidants. So like that. These are some probiotics that I take. So just take one of these probiotics. And then I take my multivitamins I've been taking the day. And there's two of these. And then I take some glucosamine, MSM, and hydraulic acid. And this is really good for your joints. Some people have asked what I take for joints and stuff while working out. And just in general, I recommend this. And this is the vegetarian. So those are the supplements I take. And I always take all my vitamins all at once, like a champ. So here's my little concoction of vitamins. I'm just gonna stick them in my autistic pocket. I can joke like that. I might have a bit of Aspies. I'm gonna go and um, get arrested. <laughs> Come with me. Oh my gosh. So we're in jail. We're trying to we're getting locked up. Yes. This is actually a themed cafe. It's called The Lockup. And I'm here with April. And we are going to go in. It's supposed to be scary. So I don't know what to expect. Come on, guys, let's go inside. This whole cafe is so cool and so themed and it keeps true to its theme. Whenever you get seated, they ask you what bad thing you did. What bad thing did you do? Um, I committed murder. I told them I committed murder because, you know, I've murdered before. They then put handcuffs on you and lead you to your table slash cell. All the servers are dressed up as police officers or criminals or monsters. We can change the language. Oh, perfect. Let me go a little easier. The menu selection here is really cool and actually a lot cheaper than other cafes I've been to. It's like six to eight dollars for a drink, which isn't bad. But before I even got a chance to order, something went weird. If you plan to go to this restaurant, this next part is kind of a spoiler alert, and I think this cafe is way funner when you don't know what's gonna happen. So skip ahead if you do plan to go.
a bunch of characters come in and try to scare you. They come into your cell, they bang on the doors, and they play loud rock music and have tons of lights going on. It was really unexpected, so it was really cool and fun to experience without knowing anything that was going to happen. Unexpected. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, this is the human experimentation cocktail set, devil's blood, time bomb capsule, lots to choose from. We're gonna make our choices and then I'll show you what we got. Okay, so we just ordered our food. I got several things just to try them. This drink, I don't know what any what is in any of these. I got one of these capsules. I we don't know what they are exactly. And this one? Yeah. Human experiment. And then for food, I just got these Jenga potatoes, which I don't know why Jenga is prison themed, but I'm all for it. And this little monster. When you order the food, you can order it from your table on the electronic device, so you don't even have to tell them what you want, and then they just bring it to you, and it's really convenient that way. There's some sushi places I found that run like that too. The most expensive thing I got was around 8 US dollars and it was the human experiment. You basically can mix a bunch of scientific colors in your vodka. The Medusa has got some candy and I wonder if this eyeball is edible. Looks like it is. It's a, yeah. gel it's a jello eyeball. Well, you, start, you start with this as the base so you and then you experiment with ah. these, like different flavors and such. Cool. And then you just got your whole drink. I just got my little, my little What's, Oh, this is my Oh, there's a capsule in there. I don't. We still don't know what this is. It's a mystery drug. We're gonna try. <laughs> it's a time release capsule. <laughs> what is this? Oh, there's something in it. It's yeah, probably I, just alcohol. I think it's alcohol. I think it's just a shot. More stuff. <laughs> it's my little jiggly guy. My dessert. <laughs> so aesthetic. And cute. Look at all that. Like an acid reflux. Oh. <laughs> So I brought the acid reflex medicine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My food was basically just tater tot sticks in Jenga blocks and she got some grated yam and cheese. <laughs> She's just like, yeah, that's normal. <laughs> She's like, oh sure, cool. <laughs> I'm from LA. Like, what do you? <laughs> I just I need my bite. I just need my bite. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I ate his little eyeball. Where near where she lives, there's the biggest Starbucks in the world. Which I never even knew that. Maybe we should go there. Comment below if you think I should go to that Starbucks. If you want to know how to swallow a bunch of vitamins or vitamins in general, put the water in your mouth first, then the vitamins, and you can, it's much easier. There's your tip. Do you want to let the eyeball? No, I'm okay. You sure? Yeah. Because it looks fun to eat. I'm good. <laughs> this is the little eyeball at the top. Mm. It's mom and me. Do you want these? Yeah. Okay, you can have all of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna drink this straight from the vial. Like a, okay. like a badass prisoner. It's a I'm ready to end it all, guys. We'll <laughs> see you on the other side. <laughs> We're taking the mystery pill. I don't know if you're supposed to chew on it or just take it. Probably supposed to chew on it. Maybe. I, I have a problem with listening, even though April told me several times, hey, that's a time release capsule, but I chewed on it anyways, and uh, don't do that. You're not supposed to chew on it. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's like rubbing alcohol. Like, what is that? I probably, yeah, it was probably just a straight shot of alcohol. So whenever, like, so it was a time release, so you probably are not supposed to chew it. And just swallow it, and then releasing your stomach really goes through your there. I should have swallowed it. Get the capsule actually was just alcohol, and it was the cheapest thing on the menu, I believe. It was around a dollar. You see the popsicles. We got another one. Oh no, I can't.
have to finish my experiment. Oh. You have to add the magical. We didn't know as our cell was open the whole time. We're free to leave. <laughs> Enjoyed that it was actually really worth it and I would totally recommend it if you're coming to Tokyo it's a really good place good value for your money um, it's raining just a little bit outside right now I hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a comment below I try to respond to most comments let me know if you'd like to see me go to the world's largest Starbucks next I love you guys very much like and subscribe if you haven't stick to terrestrial and I will see you in the next adventure goodbye Hang on a second.